Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hastings and Novak Estates. I am Jason Hastings. Thank you for tuning in for today's real estate market news, where we talk about everything real estate. Try not to be too biased while we sprinkle in a little bit of our own experiences along the way. All right. So today um, we're going to talk about some news that just took place. Actually, just took effect May 1st. And we're talking about mortgage fees. What does that mean? What is that? Who did that? Who, what, when, where, why, right? So we're talking about the Federal Housing Finance Agency, the FHFA. And these are mortgages that are backed by Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, um, which is pretty much the majority of the home loans in the United States. Um, And... FHFA director Sandra Thompson um, is trying to set the record straight because she says there's a lot of misconceptions out there. Are they? I guess we're about to find out and see what you guys think. Um, So she's saying one of the misconceptions is that those with higher credit scores um, will be charged more while those with lower credit scores will be charged less. Uh, But she's also saying that it's not just that. More things are taken into consideration the um, type of loan it is, the amount of down payment, and the credit score. So some of these fees for um, the buyers with higher credit scores have increased, and some of those with uh, lower credit scores have decreased. And here's the example. Let's say you got a 640 credit score and you put 20% down. Your uh, fees went from 3% to 2.25%. See, it went down. And if you have a 740 credit score and you put the same amount of down payment, your fees went from 0.5% to 0.875%. Your fees went up. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Please comment below on that, right? So how Miss Director Sandra Thompson, um, you know, I don't, you know, want to go against what you're saying, but, um, you know, some of the 640s fees went down, some of the 740s fees went up. But the one thing that you cannot forget is that your fees at 740 is still significantly less than someone at a 640, right? 640 is paying 2.25%, while someone at a 740 is only paying uh, 0.875%. So those with lower income, you know, could see a decrease in the penalty fees um, based on the risk in order to increase the safety and soundness of Freddie Mac. That's what they're saying. And to create an equitable and sustainable access to home ownership. Um, senior economist over at Zillow and Home Mortgages, you know, he's saying that this is not really going to have much of an effect on who qualifies for loans. Um, actually, kind of what's more in effect is the, the tightening restrictions on home mortgages and the qualifications for that. Um, in 2022, the average credit score for a home buyer was 711. Um, he also says that, um, you know, the updated mortgage fee policy, uh, policies are going to be relatively small compared to the impact of the tighter credit and on the mortgage markets, um, which is pretty much, you know, what we can expect, especially with how mortgages are such in the news right now, especially as, as the, the rates are fluctuating so much from week to week. Um, this new policy does raise concerns about the impact of the middle class um, of home buyers as borrowers with credit scores from a 680 to a 780 are seeing um, slightly higher fees. Uh, but, you know, someone who's a 680 is still being penalized for the fees. It's just they're being penalized a little less. And, uh, you know, I think where everyone's getting upset is that, you know, you work hard for a credit score uh, to get great credit and to build your credit. And why are my fees going up when someone, you know, is being rewarded for having a lower credit score? So that's kind of where the controversy lies. Um, but they're still paying a lot more in fees with a bad credit score. They're just paying a little less in fees than they were previous years while, People with good credit scores are paying a little more um, than they were in previous years. So that's pretty much where it lies. I would love to hear your thoughts in, on this. Please comment below. Also, give us a like and a subscribe. Please follow us. Oh, and also, before I forget, don't forget about our books. These are free to download. The link is in the description. We got the buyer book, the seller books, um, you know, based off of our experiences in real estate from Los Angeles and here in Austin, Texas. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll check you guys in the next one. Bye.